Hello there, tribe leaders. My name is Goldie, and as you can see, today's video is a bit longer than usual. The reason for that is that I want to take you on a journey. I want to show you four of my favorite building spots and the villages that I've built there. So, let's start with this one, right here. The first thing you notice is that there's a small river nearby. That means that you can get water from it for drinking and for cooking. What surprised me is that you can even build fishing outs here. Yet another detail to take note of is that there are stone deposits here. That means you can get stone and limestone from them. But they cannot be built on and they tend to get in the way. Luckily, they are just close to the river, so they won't bother us too much. The next thing you will notice is that there's a lot of flat ground here. That means you can build smaller, more compact villages. You can plan them out more and maybe experiment a little. As far as trees are concerned, most of them are birches. But there are a few spruce trees here as well. That's helpful, because birches only give you two logs each. On the map, we are here, in the river bend. A cave and some clay deposits are not too far away. Just for reed, we might have to run a little, until we can thresh grain to get straw. Now, let's look at this in a bit more detail. On the map, you can already see what I've tried to do. I tried to build a circle. And here we are. Let's take a stroll, shall we? An outer palisade and stone fence in circle form. And cherry trees all around. The fields are outside of the village. And there's the fishing hut. As you can see, I've placed houses and stables in the outer ring. Workshops are in the second ring. And in the center, I've built a small market. There's even enough room for storage buildings, though the resource storage requires a bit more space. Actually, let's head over there. As you can see, there's still some space left, but not much. However, you could always build the circles much larger than this. And here we are, a full circle. It's still early, so let's head on to the next one. We are next to the central river, so again we do not have to worry about water, there is more than enough there. Again we also have a lot of flat space in all directions, you could build a massive city here. Or pick one of many slightly different spots to build at. But the flat space is not the reason why I am here, nor the stone deposits, the trees or the abundant wildlife. Let's take a walk and I'll show you.
I'm here for this. This view. On the map, we are here. The caves are a bit far away, but for everything else, we're pretty central. I called it my trading village. The inner city is pretty much walled off. Stables and farm workers are on the outside. Let's go for a visit. Those two? You think so? Well, he does look strong like a boar, and I bet she likes picnics by the river. <laughs> alright, alright, I go, I go. I'm using barns as entrance gates. Here, the bigger houses. the storages, and the workshops. And the poorer neighborhood outside. Some of you may remember this spot. <laughs> the goose dust. here. And now, to the highlight of this village. Of course I built my house up there. Let's see if my wife is home. She is. She picked the best spot. But we cannot stay. We have another village to visit. This one. Here we are, in the swamp of all places. As you can see, water won't be a problem here. But finding enough space to build, all the more so. And the neighbors don't seem too friendly. At least all the trees are maple. That means four logs per tree. After dark, it might get a bit creepy though, and perhaps dangerous, but let's take a look at the map first. We are here. A cave is pretty close by, as are some villages and a lot of clay. Let me show you in detail what I've built here. In the end, I found some space. Want to go for a visit? <laughs> Welcome to my swamp. There's enough space for a barn here, and a few fields. Here's the entrance. As you can see, I have decided against building a flat market space. The ground is just too uneven, it would have looked very strange. But it's perfect for a small park. Good day to you. Hello there, young lady. It's a paradise for pigs. <laughs> I 
He agrees. Many nice quiet corners here to meet and chat. Oh, and I almost forgot. You can place fishing huts here. <laughs> and of course the geese like it too. My tavern here. Stables and fields. And as you can see, over there, there's a lot of flat ground. Now let's go here and wait for a moment. Wait for it. Wait. Now. When in a swamp, maybe following the lights isn't the worst idea after all. They may just meet you to my tavern. But for now, I'm leading you to my last village for today. These are the mountains. It's cold and hostile. But we are no cowards. Water, stone and wood are no problem here. Once you learn how to handle the neighbors. There are many good spots here where you could build. here. Here with a view of the lake. Or here. Or here.
all is spread out like I did. Let me show you in detail. On the map, we are located here, where the river starts. Only one village is nearby, but there are many caves. In detail, I've built like this. <laughs> I told you it's spread out. How about a mountain hike now? This is my oldest home. I've lived here for many years. My son is just old enough to marry. We've seen good times and bad times. Nature up here is unforgiving. But from time to time, it can also be generous. And always, even in its breath, it's beautiful. We've built our life here. This up there is my first home. And these are my people. This is where my son lives. He has become a hunter. This road was never meant to be here. That's why it seems so empty. But the other has been lost. My stables are up here. And the fold. <laughs> they get along well. Here is where the road used to go. This is my shooting range, just recently built. I'm afraid that without the road, we have to backtrack a little now. <laughs> We're all growing old. But the next generation is ready. Up here. My first hunter and lumberjack used to live here. I called them my brothers. These fields are new. We had to rebuild them. These houses as well. This whole part of the village. But not this. This is my home. It's tiny, but... 
but look at this view. <laughs> There's my wife. In the mornings and evenings, you can always find her on that bench. Here's where the road used to end. Before that night. We were all asleep. Except the night watchman, that hero. He heard the distant sounds of rumbling, and he came to rouse us all. <laughs> what luck. What unbelievable luck. He could save them all. All the families, even, even the geese. All thanks to him. terrible landslide that happened that night. It buried half of the village. The houses. The barn. The stables. <sighs> there were still items in the chests. We couldn't grab them all fast enough. <sighs> but we... We made it out. And that is what counts. That night, not a single life was lost. Are we scared now? No, no. We are as tough as these mountains. They are part of us, and we are part of them. This, this is our home. <laughs>